This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. The most common operation done worldwide is the cesarean or C-section. In order to see better health outcomes in the mid-1980s, the World Health Organization recommended that member countries' C-section rates shouldn't exceed 10 to 15 percent. A new study evaluated the relationship between current cesarean section rates around the world and key health outcomes for mothers and babies. Catherine Dolph has more in today's report. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. Chances are the mothers of many of these babies underwent a cesarean or C-section birth. Almost one out of every five births on the planet occur via cesarean section. Poorer countries uh, were actually doing more C-sections um, as a proportion of all the care that they were providing compared to wealthier countries. Doctors Alex Haynes and George Molina from Ariadne Labs at Brigham and Women's Hospital and co-authors gathered publicly available data from the 194 World Health Organization member countries. Using this information, they estimated 2012 C-section rates worldwide and examined how those rates affected maternal and neonatal health outcomes. Up to a rate of about 19 uh, C-sections per 100 live births, we see reductions in maternal and neonatal mortality. Across the world, the average cesarean section rate is over 19%. Going from 19 to 25 to 30% did not result in improvements in neonatal or maternal mortality on a nationwide level. There are many countries where not enough cesarean sections are being performed, meaning there is inadequate access to safe and timely emergency obstetric care. And conversely, that there are some countries where probably more cesarean sections are being performed than yield health benefits. The authors caution that these findings do not apply to any individual patients, facilities, or hospitals. Our research could give some guidance for why countries should make their healthcare system stronger so that they can provide safe, reliable, and timely C-sections. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. The study suggests that World Health Organization target rates for cesarean section may be too low and need to be re-examined. Now here is Ronnie Gibson with Nye County Public Auction. The following is brought to you by Nye County Auction. This weekend we've got a huge public auction. We're back up and running since New Year's Day. So we're going to be having a sell on Saturday here at 10 a.m. Uh, tons and tons and tons of merchandise. We filled the building up. We have furniture and collectibles, a uh, very nice selection of ammunition and uh, gun-related items, magazines, reloading equipment. We've got uh, a bunch of art in here today, collectibles, art glass, camping stuff, tools. I mean, we, we're, it's everything all over the wall. And we're just trying to clean up some stuff that we have. And the, the building is chuck full for this weekend. Is this going to be Saturday at 10 a.m. and people can preview, right? Yeah, people can come in and preview all day between 9 and 5 on Friday. And then, uh, yeah, the auction starts at 10 a.m. Our doors open up at 9 o'clock on Saturday. You can also take a look at our website for some of the pictures. We do have some pictures up right now, and we always try to get it updated as quick as possible. Uh, the website's www.nyauctions.com. And is this an online auction too? No, this is just one of our live auctions here. It gives everybody that's local here a chance to get us some really nice items that we have here. Uh, we do do online auctions, but those are scheduled from time to time. Where are you guys at? We're at 850 South Lolo Lane, same street as the hospital. All right, and what's phone number for more information? Phone number, give us a call at 775-537-2500. And once again, that website? Uh, www.nyauctions.com. Three people were taken by ambulance this morning after a T-bone collision. A two-vehicle accident occurred this morning off of Bell Vista and Highway 160. According to Nevada Highway Patrol, the white pickup truck was traveling southbound on Highway 160 when the blue vehicle was attempting to make a turn onto westbound Bell Vista. That car failed to yield the right of way. Three people inside the pickup truck were transported locally to Desert View Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Traffic was blocked and diverted around the accident scene while Nevada Highway Patrol conducted the accident investigation. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. David Polinski was seen in court briefly after his arrest in October of 2014 for allegedly fighting with a deputy and stealing a Nye County Sheriff's Office vehicle. 
Polinsky was apprehended after being tased by a deputy after ending the chase at the Nye County Courthouse. He has pre-trial hearings set for March 24th after he failed a drug screening. He says he has a medical marijuana card but is not allowed to be under the influence of anything during the court process. Let's join Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this learn. segment is sponsored by I'm a Nevada Public now, Auction. Another fantastic auction this weekend, uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. Of course, the doors open here on Friday from 9 to 5. Tons and tons of stuff. Lots of furniture. Uh, there's some jewelry, coins, collectibles like new in the box, uh, home decor, pizza ovens. Just, just you name it, it's in the building this week. You even have NASCAR stuff and tools. We do. Uh, lots of tools, uh, power tools, hand tools. Uh, behind me on the, on the table here, there's a nice 18-volt uh, uh, Kawasaki complete cordless kit. A huge NASCAR collection. Uh, glasses, cups, tons of cars, uh, watches, you name it, Dale Earnhardt stuff, Jeff Gordon. Again, a lot of NASCAR stuff. So if you're a NASCAR fan, come on down for that. Nice home decor. Uh, behind the case, there's some metal, um, like art roosters. Very, very nice home decor. And that's brand new stuff. Knives and swords? Knives, swords, uh, you name it. Furniture wise, there's uh, two uh, freezers, a couch, a china cabinet, two ET centers, a nice oak. I'm talking solid oak. Uh, dining room table, two leaves, six chairs. The chairs weigh like 30 pounds a piece. That's how heavy the wood is. Just a fantastic set. So we're gearing up for Valentine's Day. If you're looking for uh, the man in your life, definitely some of these items can be for him, but you also have some things for the ladies. Absolutely. We've got, uh, like you said before, some knives, some swords, a lot of tools. There's some jewelry in there too, some coins. Uh, yeah, you name it. We kind of got the gifts for him and her uh, this week, and we're gearing up towards a couple big sales uh, for Valentine's Day too. And uh, preview all day long Friday from 9 to 5 here at your location, and also Saturday morning you can preview. Preview? That is correct. So the auction is Saturday at 10 a.m., but doors open at 9. Get a good seat. Come down for that early preview. Uh, this, this sale is not uh, bidding online, but the full catalog will be available on our website at auctionnv.com, so you can see kind of what, what's going on down here. Where are you guys at? We're 800 Margaret Street, 1 Street past the hospital, right off Highway 372. Give us a call here at 751-4867. Right after this break, we will return. <laughs> 